put my ass and I'm like, I'm not going to kill myself today. And I lean back and I turned on my computer. I opened YouTube. Room. I don't know why there was a black screen Quran recitation. Click on it and I start hearing the recitation. And I fell asleep. I woke up. This former high-ranking Mexican cartel member was talking about how he was contemplating suicide, then decided to change his mind, somehow started listening to Quran on YouTube, and something changed. Then later on, he goes to watch a UFC fight at his friend's place, and who's fighting? Habib Nurmagomedov. And what does Habib say? Alhamdulillah. And that sparked something in him. He wanted to know what that meant, so he started researching what it meant, and researching Islam, and one thing led to another, and subhanAllah, he ended up accepting Islam without anyone giving him da'wah. Then he said this. So I read that surah where it says that Allah guides who he wills. And a lot of people ask me, like, who gave you da'wah? No one did, only Allah guided you know nothing. Yes, of course, guidance comes from Allah. But could you imagine, just imagine how many people are going through life. How many people are struggling, suffering, and they've never heard about Islam. Because the Muslims in their lives, their friends, their co-workers, people they interact with, they never gave them da'wah. They never even mentioned Islam in front of them. Wallahi, this is something that should be on all our minds. We need to let people know that we're Muslim. We need to behave like Muslims. We need to let our character be representative of Islam. When Aisha radiallahu anha was asked about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, she said, Kana khuluquhu al-Qur'an. His character was the Qur'an. So let's aim for that. Let's be ambassadors of Islam. Salam. Peace.